Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about gentle birth. Where does the term gentle birth comes from? What is a gentle birth? How could we define it? What are the characteristics of a gentle birth? And how can you prepare for one? Now, just to give you a little bit of background, gentle birth is most often used to refer to the method of baby delivery proposed um, by French obstetrician Frédéric Leboyer. Now, he popularized birthing techniques, in particular, the practice of immersing newborn babies in a tub of warm water. The idea was to make the transition from the aquatic environment to the outside world as smooth as possible. And I found out a couple of things that he pointed out, and I think they're very interesting, so I want to share them with you. So let's take a look at them. Babies have sensitivities, and moreover, their experience of childbirth would help shape the individual they became. If the baby was treated with calm gentleness, that crucial relationship between him and his mother or father would get off to a good start. So Dr. Leboyer put the baby at the center of the birth experience, but gradually his focus shifted from newborn babies to the mother. And his abiding belief was the greatest contribution, according to research, anyone else could make to the process of childbirth. And it was to leave the mother alone. Unless there were life-threatening problems, the process of labor should be left alone. Because he believed that in trying to help women, damage is caused. For instance, anesthetics interfere with the normal physiological processes. So, basically, he believed that medical interventions, unless they are absolutely necessary, should be avoided. Now, let's take a look at what is a gentle birth. I want you to take a look at the definition in Barbara Harper's Gentle Birth Choices. Gentle birth is not a method or a set of rules that must be followed. Rather, it is an approach to birth that incorporates a woman's own values and beliefs. So in a gentle birth, the mother actively participates in the birth. Her decisions and wishes are taken into account. Let's see now the characteristics of a gentle birth, but not necessarily the only ones. A gentle birth is not rushed. Baby is born when he's ready and emerges at his own pace and time. A woman is in a warm, distraction-free, calming, and reassuring environment. A woman is surrounded by loved ones who nurse her and support her all the way. Lights and noise levels are reduced. And it is with all that support that a mother can focus on the process of labor and 
pop and work better with it. Now, how can you prepare for a gentle birth if you wish to have one? Preparation for a gentle birth begin when you realize that your body knows how to give birth and your baby knows how to be born. Then you gain confidence. And therefore, you feel secure and comfortable enough to follow your motherly instincts and the power to birth without fear and the possibility of having a gentle birth. But in addition to that, what else do you need to do in preparation for that gentle birth experience? Let's see. A healthy diet, avoid stress, physical exercise, yoga, tai chi, walking, open mind, as the breath may not go as planned. Positive attitude, dealing with fear. Dealing with fear, doubt, concern. Dealing with a previous traumatic birth experience if you have had one, so that the pattern of that birth is less likely to happen in the second or third. It's very important. There are many educational options parents can consider if they want to have not just a natural, drug-free birth experience, but also a gentle one. And I already made a few videos about it. There is hypnobirthing, the Bradley method, the Lamas technique, birthing from within. There are many. Find one. Find the one that will better or best fit or suit your needs. The one that will give you the confidence that you need to believe in the process of birth. And the one that will provide you with childbirth education so that when the time comes, you can make informed decisions. I hope you like the video. I hope you find the information interesting. So if you like it, please don't forget to press the like button. If you would like to follow me, don't forget to subscribe and to activate the bell notification button as well so that you can know every time that I upload a video. Please leave your comments. If you have any doubt, any concern, any question, leave it there. And I will see if I can make a video about that concern, that question, that topic. Please take good care of yourself because in doing so, you are also taking good care of your baby. Until next time, bye now.